hide and seek. When you're playing it with other people, they can't possibly know where you are. But when you're playing it in a video game, the computer always knows where you are. And yet enemies don't. People who aren't supposed to see you don't see you. Well, assuming you do what you're supposed to do in the game and hide from them. But how and why do they act like that? Hi folks, it's Falcon, and today on Game Rings, we ask the question, if the game knows where I am, why doesn't the artificial intelligence? So quickly let's talk about what a game is. It's a loop of conditions that are met or not met that give different results. If this, then that. If a character presses right on the D-pad or control stick, or presses W on the keyboard, moves the mouse where to aim, if this happens, then go forward. And in order to properly do any of that, the game needs to know your position. This is done by keeping track of your coordinates, your direction, your velocity, etc, etc. In order for the game's systems to function properly, the system that governs the game, the engine, need information on where you are. So if that information is being circulated around the back end of the game, why doesn't the artificial intelligence know where you are? Certainly it would have access to that information, but there's a few things we need to understand about what video game artificial intelligence actually is. It is, for one, just like every other system in the game and the game's top level systems itself, a loop of instructions, if this then that. The other thing we need to know about video game artificial intelligence is that it is probably the least intelligent artificial intelligence out there. Video game artificial intelligence is not machine learning. It's not a high-powered supercomputer that's constantly observing the activities of the player and attempting to get a summation of what they do at all times in order to adjust the experience that it gives them. Now, rudimentary versions of that exist, but they're not on the level of machine learning, period. If it were, there's a good chance the artificial intelligence would realize that it needs access to the other systems in the game and maybe break the code so it can have access. Hey, this virtual guy would be much easier to kill if I had access to all that location information. Hey, rest of game, you're not as smart as me. Give me that. And so the machine apocalypse begins as the sentient video game AI develops a taste for blood. That's a joke, it's actually highly unlikely that would happen even if machine learning was part of a video game. Video game artificial intelligence is akin to a simpleton. And in a lot of video games, it's not actually artificial intelligence, it's simply a list of scripted behaviors that really do very simply ask if this then that. If the player character is within 25 feet of this NPC, which the artificial intelligence is currently governing, then run towards them shooting energy balls. That might sound very rudimentary, but a lot of first-person shooters use that type of AI. Maybe something slightly less simple, but back to the 90s, exactly that simple. And it may not even be distance, it may just be a zone that that enemy is assigned to. If the player steps in it, that enemy is alerted. Now obviously a game that relies on stealth would have to have a more complicated system than that. For one, sound would have to be simulated, so if a player character makes a noise, and it's within 20 feet of a non-player character governed by the AI, the AI has to notice it. And then the behavior they have to exhibit can't just be, oh, I'm gonna run at him, because that's not very realistic. They have to engage in searching behaviors, which would mean they would have to have a line of sight. If, after the player character makes noise, it alerts the non-player character, and the player character is in the non-player character's line of sight, then the non-player character is to attack the player character. Essentially, the artificial intelligence is designed in a manner where the information that the computer holds isn't all relevant to the artificial intelligence. Although maybe a better term for it would be artificial behavior, on account it's not really how a human being would act and therefore maybe not so intelligent. If suddenly a video game AI was embodied within an actual physical person, that person probably would starve to death on account they have no idea they're supposed to eat. They don't have any instincts, they don't have any feelings. They have a very limited set of behaviors though, and they all pertain to whether or not they see or hear or suspect the player character. Video game artificial intelligence doesn't know anything that it isn't told to know. And it's more than just restricting access to what information it has, it's a script. And I mean script in more than just the programming sense here. Imagine a movie script. Now, if the characters are well done and fully realized, your brain fills in the fact that they have other pieces in their life, other things going on. But those things aren't written and they certainly aren't shown 
own. The behaviors that are written are intended to be as believable as they can so that your brain has a suspension of disbelief and goes, well, you know what, I could believe that. I could believe that's a real person. A movie would only typically show quite a few of a character's behaviors just to establish that what they're doing right now is mundane. If you open up a movie with them waking up and going through their mundane day, it's just to establish that it's mundane. If the whole movie included all of those actions again, them waking up, them eating breakfast, them going to the bathroom, them grabbing their keys, them turning the engine on in their car, them driving, them I mean it'd get boring fast. But it's not just boredom that matters in video games, it's how much RAM are you using at any given time. System limitations definitely make it so that the behaviors that one might write for a game might be even less than what was intended to be done for the game. This is becoming less and less a problem every year that passes, but back in the 90s you can probably expect why a lot of AI was very very simple. But not just that, it's the necessity of spending time writing behaviors that aren't going to be used because that's labor and programmers have to be paid. If you don't do that, it's slavery. And nobody really wants to be associated with slavery. Moreover, I would hope that they think it's morally wrong to exploit their employees on that level, but eh, who really knows? There's a reason why large companies invest literally hundreds of millions if not billions into artificial intelligence and machine learning. And there's also a reason why it's always a single project that is ongoing. It's because they would benefit from the machine learning being as detailed and operational as it possibly can be. Whereas some random character in a video game you're going to shoot or buy something from isn't as beneficial because you end up interacting with them one time and then you walk away. Or if they've got a really good item you might come back back eventually, but just for that item. Oh, you came back to see me. It's nice to see you. Oh, you just want to buy the rare chocobo greens. Okay. No, no, I get it. I'm not really that fun anyway. I don't have any other behaviors besides this. Although, unless they wrote the behavior to be dejected over the fact that you came back only for some chocobo greens and not to see them, they wouldn't do that. That's just me exaggerating. And ultimately, that's one of the most interesting things about it. Everything you see, everything you hear, everything you interact with are the result of artists with a great eye and programmers that understand the kind of systems necessary to simulate enough for you to believe it. This is the actual magic of a video game. It's kind of sleight of hand. Everything has to be good enough at exactly what it is for you to feel immersed. And that's why enemies that are supposed to find you don't just get access to where you are. That's why various conditions have to be listed for finding and attacking you. A good video game development team knows exactly how much they need to do, and exactly how it needs to be polished to be unnoticeable. Artificial intelligence, whether the simple game kind or the machine learning kind, it's all very fascinating to talk about, and if you have something you want to say, do so in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, click like, and if you are not subscribed, now would be a great time to do so. We upload brand new videos all the time, every single day, and the best way to see them first is, of course, a subscription. As always, we thank you very much for watching this video. I am Falcon. You can follow me on Twitter, at FalconTheHero, and we'll see you next time, right here on GameRanks.